Good morning, I am Gabriela Cardenas. I am going to cut out heads and modifiers. To start, we have to review some central ideas. What is the head, an obligatory element in any phrase? The head word determines the type of phrase. The head controls the other words. What is a modifier? Are words that modify the head and gives extra information. About heads, we find heads in a phrases such as noun phrase, verb phrase, adjective phrase. Now, we are going to review some examples. The first example, my cat is gray. In this case, the head is the noun cat. The next, I play soccer. In this case, the head is the verb play. The next, the small house in the town. In this case, the head is the noun house. The head is a word which gives the sense of the sentence. About compliments, some ideas. A compliment is a word or expression necessary to complete the meaning of a phrase or clause. A compliment gives meaning to a sentence. A complement is a word which modifies a subject, verb, or object. The complement includes direct object, indirect object, plicative complement, and oblique object. It could be object or preposition. Now, we are going to review some examples. The first example, Peter is a musician. In this case, the complement is the word musician. The next, my mother loves me. In this case, the word me is a complement. I caught a fish for the cat. In this case, the complement is for the cat. Now, we are going to review options. Some ideas. Words that provide additional information in a sentence. Options are an optional part of a sentence. An adjunct can be removed and will not affect the meaning of the sentence. Adjuncts are in general free to appear without relation with the head word. Now we are going to review some examples. The first example John met Maria at a restaurant and Saturday. In this case, we have two agents. The first agents are at a restaurant and the second agent is a Saturday. The next example, I completely forgot about the birthday. In this case, the agent is the word completely. And without this word, the sense of the sentence don't change. The next example, Anne help her mother with the dishes. In this case, the agent is with the dishes. And the sentence without this agent don't change. Now, what is the difference between complements and agents? Complements are obligatory in the sentence and agents are optional. That is all. Thank you very much.